Hey friends, welcome to Sew Aldo. For today's episode, I am going to show you how to shorten the sleeves on a trench coat or just a regular basic coat. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. As you can see, I need to shorten the sleeves like tremendously because I just have short arms. So I'm going to do that and I already marked the measurements. So you basically just want to measure your desired length and then you will add seam allowances to that. If your sleeves has tabs on the side, you will have to unpick it. You will have to reattach it later on. But this coat that I'm working on doesn't have any tabs on the side, so that makes it a lot easier for me. So I added 2 inches seam allowances just because I want to have it extra just in case I messed up. So you can do that too if you wish. And then I trim off the excess fabric including the lining. So the lining was still a little long so I just kind of pull it out and then I trim off about 2 inches more and I left 1 inch allowance. There is another way to do this um, but I haven't figured that out so I am doing my shortcut method. So basically I'm going to fold in the fabric. So I'm going to fold the raw edge inside the sleeve hem just like this. I will pin it to secure and I'm going to turn it wrong side out. Right after that, I am going to do the same thing on to the lining. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit closer to the raw edge of the outside fabric and then I'm going to fold in the raw edge. I'm going to pin it half an inch away from the raw edge of the actual fabric. At first, I did a basting stitch just to make sure that the sleeves and the lining are matched and it's not going to be wrinkly. If you make the lining a little shorter it will wrinkle the coat and it looks awful so if you need to make an adjustment it will be much easier to unpick the thread and redo it because if the lining is not flat it will make your sleeve a little wrinkly and it's kind of bunching up and it just doesn't look right And then I am going to hand stitch it. I am going to be doing an invisible stitch. So basically, I am just going to be sewing the raw edge and the lining. I am making sure that I am not catching the correct side of the fabric because I don't want to see threads on the other side of the actual coat. After I base stitch it, I tried it on and the sleeves looks perfect to me. So I am going to go ahead and do an invisible stitch if you don't know how to do this sewing technique I am going to have the link at the end screen or up here on the info card so you can go ahead and check that out after you watch the video
Doing this by hand took me 5 minutes to finish. So it is very easy and simple to do if you want to do it. It's gonna save you a lot of money. Plus the coat will look really nice on you when you wear it because it is the right size or right length. So if you want to do this, go ahead and try this out. You don't need a sewing machine on this project. After I finished it, I'm going to remove the basting stitch. Now all I have to do is press the hemlines so the fabric is nice and crisp and it will look beautiful. I suggest that you work on one sleeve at a time so you can use the other sleeve as a reference if you kind of forgot what the original hemlines look like. I'm really excited how this coat turned out. I actually got this last year for a very very good price. Just simple alteration, I made this coat fit me better and I love it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video is helpful to you. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every week. I will see you next time. Bye!